Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my second video, although it will be the first one that I've shot all the way through without mistakes. Fingers crossed. I haven't figured out editing yet. There will be a video preceding this that you will see, if you are my subscriber, <laughs> that explains the point of my channel. Today we're doing a Dollar Store Dollar Tree haul. I've already done this one, so bear with me. Um, I stood up halfway through and the camera lost focus and never regained focus. So here we go again. So I got paid today, which is a big deal because I work relief, which due to my illness is something that is a really great fit for me. But it means that the money isn't always there. So when the money is there, it's a lot of fun. I get to go out and do a little bit of crazy shopping. So Dollar Tree. First thing, I went to Dollarama last week to get these and I paid two fifty each. And at my Dollar Tree I paid a dollar twenty five and they're the same size. So I'm really very pleased with these. I need them to organize my office, which is chaos. But <laughs> one day I will show you the chaos that is my office. I have bookshelves and computers and stereos and CDs and more books and so back to the Dollar Tree. I got these, these stickers, um, sticker boxes, just a little, you can see the stickers here. These are just the little cute things I'm giving to people in my family for um, Valentine's. Um, I got light bulbs. That's the other thing. I did also get, I got regular light bulbs for the rest of the house, but for my office I got a LED light bulb, which has made it so much brighter. It's just great. So um, that, that was also bought this haul. I got cinnamon hearts because I like a little something sweet. Um, as I'm sure you'll find out, or if I've already mentioned, um, I am a bariatric patient. I, I had bariatric surgery two years ago, so I can't have a lot of sugar and I can't have a lot of other things. So um, sugar is a real rare treat and um, it's a struggle and it's a journey, but I'm still making it. Now this I got and I just adore. I've seen these in other people's hauls and I thought, mm, looks a little, uh, and I'm not a real big scarf person, but when I saw it, I thought, you know, this would be super cute for Valentine's for work. So I actually am working on Valentine's, even though it is my anniversary. Um, I got this because sometimes those frozen pizzas just aren't what I want. I want something a little more customizable. And this I can make any way I want. I can make it into a flatbread with some bruschetta on it. Like it just, it seemed like a really good idea. And this, despite what I just told you about having bariatric surgery, these will last me a long time. And I wouldn't have gotten these. These are completely an impulse purchase. I realized I probably paid more for them in the Dollar Tree at the dollar twenty-five um, each. Probably could have got them for like eighty cents somewhere else. But I wasn't really ready to go somewhere else just to get Reese's eggs that I probably shouldn't eat anyway. And these. I did get these at the Dollar Tree and you may think, oh cute, she has kids. I don't have kids. Oh nice, she's doing something for her family. I am not doing something for my family. These are for me. Bubbles make me happy. They make me joyous. And so having one of these in my purse at any given time means that I can just whip it out and out into the atmosphere with my glowy bubbles of love. So this should keep me going for a while. I'm sure they'll have more of them in different uh, styles later on, but for right now, that'll do. Now this is something I always get when I'm at the Dollar Tree. Plain black t-shirts. I had a slew of funny t-shirts when I was really big. I was about 325 pounds and I had a slew of funny t-shirts. And my mom and my partner made me get rid of them when I lost the weight. They said, no, you're not that person anymore. They're not funny. <laughs> so I threw them all out and now I don't have any large comfy teeth. So this is a large comfy tee and it doesn't really matter if I'm painting and I get paint on it or anything like that. This, I opened this in my last video that I'm not using, <laughs> but it is a set of two containers with two compartments. Um, I got this for my partner because she likes to bring things for lunch that are like meat and potato and she doesn't like them touching in her lunch. So, but we've been looking and we've looked all sorts of places and these are the only ones we really found. So we picked up two packages of those. Back to the scarves. This one I just thought felt nice 
and I do want to start being a little more fancy at work because I want to work kind of fancy and I feel kind of not fancy because I'm kind of casual but this I thought would make a, a nice addition to a, a nice blouse I do have some things that aren't black so um, we're moving down I think we're almost all food now um, I got these barbecue corn chips I got them because I saw this thing on Pinterest and I'm pretty sure it was Pinterest I was thinking on Pinterest where you cut off the top and you make like nachos in a bag and you like sprinkle your cheese and your salsa and your sour cream and your guac or whatever else you want to put on. I throw in olives. I love olives. Um, and then you just scoop it out like you can eat it like like as a munchie. So I thought I'm going to try that before I try it with my family. Because if for $1.25 if I can get like four or five of these, make them up, make a bag of them and we can all like go to our separate corners. I always make everyone eat together but I know sometimes I don't want to. Um, like I said I am very much a patient so I need small portion sizes. So in order to make it a little more appealing I got myself these nice black plates to uh, to have one upstairs in the upstairs apartment and one downstairs in my apartment. Um, that way when I'm having munchies or something I'm not going to be putting too much on my plate. It's actually a proven strategy for helping lose weight to use a smaller plate. So I figure if I'm attracted to the plates, no, not, you know, sexually, but if I'm attracted to the plates, then it will definitely be help to use them. So that's them. I got Clamato. Clamato. I didn't even know Americans had Clamato until I saw like, was John Oliver said something about Clamato? And I was like, oh, you, you have Clamato. But it's not Mott. This is, this is the good stuff. I don't have any vodka right now or else I would actually try and um, have a drink but this will this is actually good I screwed this up so bad the first time this is actually until July 2021 so I have it for a while and then if my mom comes which she sometimes does um, even though she lives quite far from me uh, if my mom comes she can have a Clamato as well so that's nice the olives as promised I love my olives and tonight we're making nachos for dinner, so I'm going to throw a can of olives. Now my brother-in-law doesn't like olives, so he only gets half, you know, on, on his half there are no olives. And this was also bought with the intention of um, using it tonight. It's Almer's Accents Chili Seasoning. So I'm thinking it's kind of, I'm, I'm hoping it's kind of a Rotel kind of thing. But like the Rotel cans are smaller, they're about three dollars, sometimes even more where we are, if you can find them. So this, I mean, if this works, this would be awesome to, to replace that Rotel with something a little cheaper. Um, this is my card for my sweetheart. It's our 22 year anniversary on Valentine's Day. It's just a nice little card. It doesn't, we don't usually do sappy things, but I felt like, you know, she deserves it. So this is the Presto Penne Mushroom 8 Minute Kit. I've never tried it. I will update you in the future when I do try it as to whether it's good or not, but for a dollar, and I love mushrooms. So almost done. This one, again, for the sweetheart. Um, she likes to take dips to work and these are nice little sizes and it's Betty Crocker so it's a good make. I got these because sometimes I just want a little tiny bit of chocolate and I don't want to mess with a big bar and breaking stuff off and that's too tempting. But this, these little bunnies are only like this big, they're really tiny. And uh, they're Russell Stover's so that means they're a nice chocolate. So I'll get a package of those around Easter and uh, that that will do me for like a month. Um, beans, because someone's craving wieners and beans and it isn't me. I should never let them come into the dollar store with me. And then vaccine tape, because I have some uh, kitty litter containers that are, um, that are waiting to be made into a craft. So I bought this so that I can tape them up and I can have like a portable sewing area because there's no room for my sewing equipment in my office because my office is chaos. Anyway, um, that's it for the Dollar Tree. Uh, I'll be coming back in a few moments with my Dollarama haul. Thank you very much.